is man with this podcasting space because it's such a new industry like it's 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 tough to like uh quant- uh, quantify things and like put things into perspective because uncharted waters exactly yeah. Because I was in America, and there was an American company that offered $1 million to buy the, the podcast network. Okay. And, you know, I was chatting to Bara, and it sounded like, you know, mm. a good deal. But when we looked at it, we were like, nah, man, we valued it way more than that, you know? Yeah, so it's, yeah, it's, it's yeah. weird, man. It's a weird space. Like, there's no formula, like, mm. you yeah, know? Uh, mm. And what do they want? Ownership. Full ownership. Yeah. Uh, that's like 18, oh. 20 million rands. Mm. Damn. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. But I said no, and here we are. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, yeah, and then here we are. Come on. Like, duh. Imagine if they had sold the podcast for only one million US dollars. I mean, when. Well, <laughs> When you're down and out, when you're just starting out, when you're suffering, when you're nowhere, um, a million dollars might sound like uh, a gold mine. Like when you, when one million dollars is put on the table, you might feel like, damn, I've just hit the jackpot. This is what I've always wanted. This this is the reason why I'm waking up each and every day and stand up behind the camera and shoot videos and post on YouTube or whatever platform. Like this is the reason why I'm hustling each and every day. And you, you, you will kind of like forget or not even consider the future. Like what if this, this podcast uh, maybe in the next five, ten years makes ten times the amount of money that, that these people are offering right now. And the, the reason why you should think like that is because no one is going to cough out one million US dollars from their pocket and just give you for something which does not have value. Obviously, the reason why they're, they're, they're even considering giving you a, 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 I mean, a million dollars cash without even thinking twice is because they have sat down, discussed whatever they had to discuss. Um, they, they, they valued your content. They valued uh, you know, the future that uh, your content maybe uh, is headed to and your platform, the, the, the amount of viewership that your platform is receiving at that, at that particular moment and the potential viewers that you will obviously um, receive in the next five to ten years and they've actually realized that this platform can make us more than a million US dollars they're probably projecting at uh, maybe 10 100 million you don't know but just some, sometimes when you offer something like this you must just sit down with yourself and ask yourself this question that if this if this person can offer me a million dollars for something like this then how much of a potential does does this platform of mine have like these are questions you, you must ask yourself but hey, let's continue hope you don't regret it but there are good moves though all right cool let's go because it's nice being independent i'm afraid of being captured dog yeah hey he can, nigga cannot do no nine to five. Like he can do no nine to five. He's he's not a nine to five kind of person. This is this is what he likes to do, and this is how he likes things to be done. So if he if he had fallen for that trap of a, a million dollars, he wouldn't he wouldn't even have been here. Because <laughs> that's that's what makes the podcast. But how do you navigate through those conversations? For me, regardless of money, what deal is in the is on the table, ne? If it doesn't make sense. And if I'm not passionate about the project anymore, then I think I've lo- uh, we've lost it. Do you get what I'm saying? I get you 100. What would be a perfect deal then? Where they give us a 20 million, but we still do whatever we want. The, what we want to do? Mm. Like Joe Rogan. Like Joe Rogan. Or yes. Yes. That's a perfect deal. Dollars or rents? Billions. I get one million dollars is 20 million. You 20 round yeah. off. Yeah. yeah. Okay. One million dollars. Yeah. These okay. days. Regardless of the amount, but whatever amount is on the table, as long as we can still do what we want to do. Okay. Because there's nothing worse than now, okay, cool, we, we've we sold the, 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 the network to this company, whatever, and then now when we come here, we are told, hey, you can't drink on the show, hey, you can't say this. You can't swear. Because they are politically affiliated to whatever, you can't swear. You can't say it just kills the whole reason of us doing this, yeah. you know what I mean? So I think the independent freedom that i've experienced in the podcast hey it's not for sale for me beautiful man 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 
I like, I like, I like where, where this video ended. If you can read on the screen, it says, The podcast is not for sale. For me, that's beautiful. The podcast is not for sale. It's not for sale. And, and it's because they understand how things work. They understand that um, a man that feeds you controls you. A man that feeds you will tell you what to post, when to post, how to post. Uh, that person will tell you what to do, what not to do because they own that particular show um, because they've bought it from you anyway. They've bought the rights to control the show. It may be yours and you may be the face of uh, the podcast or the show, but they've bought the rights. They control everything that, that that's happening, um, uh, you know, behind <laughs> behind cameras and everything. So these guys understand their, their assignment. They've been in the industry for quite some time and they, they, they made a very, very great decision, which at that moment, it might have seemed um, immature or foolish, if I can put it like that. But look at them now. Look at them now. Like they are... I think they are in the top three of the best podcasts in the world. Not in Africa, but in the world. Maggie's podcast is in the top three of the best podcasts in the world. Uh, when we In the category, we also have the podcast of um, Joe Biden. And uh, also that podcast uh, wanted to be... Someone wanted to buy that, po that podcast at some particular time. I think they offered him about... 50 million US dollars. If if I'm not correct, please uh, correct me on the on the comment section below. But that's uh, that's that's just as far as I know. They offered him 50 million dollars um, at, at a particular time back then. But he decided not to sell. He decided to continue with uh, his passion. He decided to continue with his vision. And today he's in the top three. If he's not the best in the whole world. So yeah, guys. Uh, <laughs> let's don't chase the money. Chase the dream. Chase the passion. Chase the talent. Money will come. Money will come. They're like just enjoy what you're doing enjoy the journey and then money will come trust me trust the process uh, anyway guys I, <laughs> I don't have much uh, to say anymore um that's it from me uh to you guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much for tuning by on dream venture reborn uh and if you're new to this channel please thank you uh Feel free to, to hit the subscribe button and join the family and don't forget to hit the bell button so whenever I post another video, you get the notification and you get to watch the video first. And if you did engage this video, please don't forget to hit the like button, guys. And feel free to share this video with other uh, people whom you think might want or might enjoy watching this content. Um, from Dream Venture Reborn, from your board and running the Tengue, uh, to the world, from South Africa, thank you so much for watching thank you so much for tuning by i will see you again on the next episode and again i'm saying follow the passion follow the gift follow the goal don't follow money money will come <laughs>